Hello everyone, welcome back to Detangle. In this video, we have a very interesting question. So, let's just see that. So, a person with a chest around of 86 cm, so chest around means the measurement around your chest is 86 cm. So, if you guys didn't know that, 86 cm means his size is small. So, his uh, t-shirt size is small, wants to wear a half sleeve XL t-shirt. So, a, a person with small measurement wants to wear a big t-shirt or a large t-shirt made of silk material. Oh, that's nice at a velocity of 29.4 meter per second that means he wants to wear it at a velocity of 29.4 meter per second not the usual way how you wear a t-shirt and they have told something important no injuries or death okay so if you wear uh, normally wearing a t-shirt you know that there won't be any injuries or uh, death unless you are uh, wearing the t-shirt wrong so here since they have given that he has to wear it at a velocity of 29.4 meter per second given condition is he shouldn't uh, he shouldn't get any injuries or uh, you know the person shouldn't die so uh, keeping that in mind and also they have given take the g value as 9.8 meter per second square so i just came up with this question so that i could explain some of the concepts in physics in a interesting and uh, realistic way so let us see how to solve this problem and uh, if you have any of your ideas and suggestions, please let me know in the comments. We'll have a discussion there. And uh, this is the best which I could come up with. I'm sure most of you would come up with better ideas. So if you have something like that, just let me know and uh, put down in the comments. We'll have a good discussion there. So let's start. So just like any typical physics question, since they have mentioned the value of G as 9.8 meter per second square, so we can simply use gravity right to accomplish this task that is just make the person stand on the ground like this and make sure his hands are up like this that is uh, he's ready to wear the t-shirt and keep your t-shirt at some height I'm going to make I'm going to draw a extra large t-shirt so something like this So keep the t-shirt at some height and just drop it because of the gravity we know acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meter per second square because of this acceleration the t-shirt is going to fall down and as it falls its velocity is going to increase and just when he is about to wear it its velocity should become this value that is 29.4 meter per second so that the person is actually wearing the t-shirt at 29.4 meter per second so we need to do a few calculation that is what is this value of height from which you should drop the t-shirt so that the velocity at this point when it reaches this point has to be 29.4 meter per second so to figure out what is this height let's just first understand what does this mean that is acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meter per second square this means that it's 9.8 meter per second per second so as you all know acceleration is change of velocity with respect to time so this means every second the velocity should increase by 9.8 meter per second that means if i drop a ball say suppose from some height i'm just dropping the ball and initially its velocity is 0 meter per second so after one second the ball might have reached here so this is after one second the ball will have a velocity of 9.8 meter per second that is the meaning of this that is 9.8 meter per second every second which means that after two second after two second the ball would have covered more distance so it would have reached here why because now the velocity so initially it had a velocity of 9.8 now the velocity would have been again increased by 9.8 so the total velocity will be 9.8 plus 9.8 19.6 meter per second in the same way after three seconds the velocity would have been further increased and there should be i should add a 9.8 meter per second to this value so that will be 29.8 4 meter per second so that is why the distance covered also increases you all know that 
if you drop something from a height initially its velocity will be less but as it goes on and keeps on falling its velocity increases so along with that as you know if the velocity increases the distance it covers also has to increase and as you see that we got this value that velocity is 29.4 meter per second when after 3 second so if t is equal to 3 second then our velocity will become 29.4 meter per second that means that so it doesn't depend on what you're dropping that is if you drop a ball if you drop a t-shirt or if you drop an elephant doesn't matter everything is going to come down at the same rate why because this g value will be same for all the objects which means that after three seconds all the object will have this velocity 29.4 meter per second so now we know that if you drop this t-shirt and at the count of three seconds it will have the velocity of 29.4 meter per second which means that now still i need to know what height i have to drop from so these are not useful so for that as you know the distance should be equal to velocity into time so can i use this equation in this case no why because i cannot find the distance or the height using this formula why because this means the velocity which you take here has to be a constant value but as you have seen that the velocity is changing every second right that is a whole point of 9.8 meet, meter per second per second so i cannot use this formula which means that i have to choose one of the newton's formula i hope you guys are familiar with this formula s is equal to ut plus half at square so this is the equation which we use when we have a varying velocity or when we have a accelerated motion so if i substitute the values in this so this u is initial velocity as you know it is zero why because we are dropping from a certain height so initially it doesn't have any velocity and t is the time and if i substitute these values so this will be s is the height this height so this will be zero and here it will be half into acceleration is the acceleration due to gravity which is 9.8 into the time is 3 square so if i simplify this i would be getting an answer of 44.1 meter which means that you have to drop the t-shirt from a height of 44.1 meter now if you want you could have done this more directly that is if you are if you are familiar with this formula of newton's laws that is v square minus u square is equal to 2a s that is final velocity minus the initial velocity is equal to 2 times acceleration times the distance so here also the final velocity is 29.4 and initial velocity is 0 and if you substitute the values you would have gotten directly but i just want you to understand that concept of gravity so that's why i just explained it in this way it's up to you what you want to do okay so we have the value of 44.1 meter so i have to drop the t-shirt from 44.1 meter now the most important question is it possible in real life you drop a t-shirt from this height 44.1 meter and you know it will come down and uh, come down right upon him and he'll be wearing it at this velocity 29.4 meter per second so let's see if it works or not so as you just saw apparently it doesn't work so it doesn't work why because of lot of factors that uh, there is some air resistance in real life and also there's wind flowing and because of all this the dropped t-shirt is not going to come down straight it is going to deviate from its path and it is going to fall off somewhere else so what we need to do is we need to do this experiment in vacuum so we need to remove all those disturbances that is the wind the air resistance everything so this whole setup has to be done in vacuum so it looks good so far but i'm sure most of you have uh, noticed it a major problem in this is going to be the t-shirts opening right so if he has to wear the t-shirt at this rate the t-shirt has to stay open at the bottom otherwise you know how t-shirts are right so it, it will be like this it will be closed so he won't be able to wear it properly so it has to stay open so now our thinking should be how to resolve that issue 
So to resolve that, what I thought was, what if, if you could fit some rods, some steel uh, rods inside this t-shirt so that, you know, to keep this thing rigid and uh, open so that it falls down like this. So that could work. But then again, you would be violating the statement that no injuries or death. If you make like some rigid structure within the t-shirt, what happens is if it drops on him, he might suffer some injuries, right? So we can't do that. Then what I thought was, what if, if you could put some rods like this and put a railing or uh, rollers on that and fix some uh, rods like this so that, you know, it will guide this t-shirt like this. That could work. But yeah, again, you have to insert something to here at the bottom to keep it open. And also because of that, uh, you know, there can be friction in the railings and you cannot uh, make sure that it falls at 29.4 meter per second. So that is going to affect it. So the best solution which I could come up with is what if, if we make this t-shirt positively charged, okay, both front and back. So, make this t-shirt positively charged both at the front and the back and as you all know, the positive and the positive will repel each other which means that if you make the front and back positively charged, they will be repelling each other and that will make it open or uh, you know that will keep this bottom part open. So, let's just understand that first. How do we establish this? So, say suppose if I take a glass rod and rub it with a silk. So what happens is because of friction, the electrons in the atoms would come out. And since the silk, if you, uh, if you compare between glass rod and silk, silk will have more affinity for electrons, affinity or love for electrons such that it will keep all the electrons to itself. So the electrons will come out when you rub it because of the friction and that released electrons are going to get on to the silk. Why? Because silk has more affinity for those electrons and the electrons which are removed from the glass rod. So the glass rod will become positively charged. And in the same way, if you were to take a plastic rod and a silk cloth, then if you do the same experiment of rubbing vigorously then what would happen is the removed electron would be latching on to the glass rod why because sorry will be latching on to the plastic rod why because between the silk and the plastic rod plastic rod has more affinity for electrons so that would leave out the silk rod positively charged now good thing in the question they have mentioned that the t-shirt is made up of silk cloth which means that I can take a plastic rod and rub nicely so that it gets fully positively charged both front and back and so that it stays open. And also when you rub it and when you release it from this part, make sure you wear some rubber gloves or something so that uh, the charges doesn't escape from the t-shirt. Okay, so that's it. So we have a fully positively charged t-shirt coming down from a height of 44.1 meter and just before that person is going to wear it, it will have a velocity of 29.4 meter per second and the whole experiment is done in vacuum so that the t-shirt doesn't get deviated from its path. So all very well done. Oh wait a second, we would have just killed this person. I almost forgot. So this is a positively charged t-shirt which is falling down upon him, right? So as soon as it falls upon him, what do you think is going to happen? So since this is positively charged and he is standing on the ground, so all the electrons from the ground will move on to that positive charge to neutralize it. So literally it is going to pass over him, which means that he is going to get electrocuted or he is going to get electrocuted, electrocuted, electro, electrocuted. I don't know. I'm sure you got it, right? So he is going to get electrified, right? So again, we are violating the condition that no injuries or no death, which means that we need to figure out a solution. Yeah, simple thing. Just make him stand over some rubber or some wooden table or something. So I'm just going to use a rubber tire here. So let him stand over a rubber tire like this. 
So let me draw some grip and all so that you know he doesn't slip off. So there you go. Now he is safe. Now he is ready to wear the t-shirt. Why? Because now the electrons cannot, rubber is a insulator. So the electrons cannot go through rubber into his body so that he is safe and he can safely wear this t-shirt. So that's how you do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and also learned few stuffs from this. And uh, if you would like to see such videos in future, please let me know down in the comments. And uh, yeah, I'll see you with another video then. Until next time, take care. So let me see if this thing works or not. Shit.